You ready? Okay. Yes, I'd like to um, welcome everybody to the combined virtual and live Mount Carmel Area School Board meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, justice for all. We'd like to have a moment of silence for everybody for our first responders and nurses and helping out with this pandemic and please offer hopes that are reflected in the prayers of the school board and all our families. You see it. Roll, roll call. Mr. Brecker. Present. Mr. Brett. Mr. Brett. Mr. Gonzalo. Here. Mrs. James is present. Mrs. Latour. Here. Mr. Mazatesta? Here. Mr. Muldowney? Here. Mr. Zach? Here. Mr. Zanella? Here. We can move on to announcements, Mr. Stella. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Mount Carmel Area School District is working hard to educate our students during the closure, which is truly unprecedented. Please stay tuned to Blackboard messages, website posts, social media, and phone calls from the school district. We will honor our seniors. We are planning to have live end of year events whenever it's safe to do so. And we're planning on meeting with the senior class to get their input. At this time, we are not proposing any virtual end of year ceremonies. Our plan is to do them live whenever it's safe to do so. These events include graduation commencement ceremony, the prom, class night, kindergarten graduation, national honor society inductions, and the honor student dinner. Academically, we'll be moving from enrichment and review to a new stage of education called planned instruction, where we'll be teaching new material beginning on April 27th. Students will be required to complete the presented material beginning on that date. Details can be found on our website or by contacting the school. We all must work together to get through this. And we're all sure that the MCA community will continue to show our tornado pride moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Steller. Um, the next I'd like to uh, address the recognition of student merit award winners. In the past, we have done it in public. We will continue to do this and we will be recognizing each person from the elements and the high school in the near future in person uh, when we are allowed more social interaction. So everybody will be allowed to come to a, a live school board meeting and be awarded in person. The uh, recognition elementary students for better are Jaden Delaney and for the high school, Danny Ray Renno. And then once again, the families will be contacted and will be able to attend a public meeting and receive their recognition um, face to face. Moving on to approval of minutes, a motion is needed to approve the minutes of the February 20th. 2020 regular board meeting. Motion. Second. Who's, who made the motion? Mrs. Latour? Yes. Who seconded it? Mr. Mazatesta? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 We do not have a PTA representative report at this time. Moving on to the recognition of guests desire to speak to the listed agenda item. Please state your name and address to be recognized. None? Mr. 
I have none right now. Okay. We will address this item at the very end of the meeting. Um, administrative reports, Superintendent, Mr. Stowe. Thank you, Mr. Muldowney. Um, let me start off by saying I am extremely proud of the efforts of our administrative team during this closure. Meeting daily, multiple times often throughout the day and often late into the evening over the Easter weekend, uh, they've gone above and beyond and continue to do so. So I'm very thankful and appreciative of the efforts of our administrative team. I'm proud of our faculty and teacher aides for stepping up and retooling their trade and learning how to teach kids in this totally new environment. So we're proud of our faculty and aides and their efforts that they've made thus far. We're also proud of our support staff, including maintenance and food service for working hard to feed our kids daily and to make sure our facilities are and continue to be cleaned and sanitized. We're proud of our kids who most of them are working and trying hard to keep up with their academics. And we urge the parents to please stay on top of your children's academic efforts. Communicate with your teachers, communicate with the principals, let us know how we can help because that's why we're here. And once again, I would like to thank everyone for pitching in during this extremely difficult time. A few announcements uh, for, for mainly for families and parents, meal distribution uh, that's been occurring daily, starting on Monday, the 20th. We're gonna to begin to distribute meals Monday, Wednesday, and Friday only at the same times in the same locations. However, children are still going to be fed for all five days. Uh, the meals will be double on Monday, double on Wednesday, and single meal on Friday. So we're gonna to continue to give out the same amount of food that we've been from the beginning of the school year. We're gonna to continue to provide that it's only gonna be done three times a week rather than daily moving forward. Buddy bags are going to continue for those that are eligible and participate in that program every Friday. And I know I have received many requests from parents wondering about lockers and personal items. So locker and classroom cleanouts are being planned and we'll certainly alert all families when it's safe for us to do that. So that's not gonna be quite yet, but soon. Uh, providing the, that we get the green light that it's safe for us to do that. And that's all I have tonight, Mr. Mulvaney. Thank you. Principal's report, the senior high school. I mean, yes, good evening, everybody. This is Lisa Verano. Um, I'd like to first just note um, that as we move about our daily lives, the halls of MCA are quiet. We miss our students, our faculty, and our staff members. We hope all of our MCA families are doing well in spite of the situation that we are currently in. And please know that all of us here at MCA are looking forward to a time when we will all be back here together. In the meantime, if you've not already done so, please continue to check the school resource page located on our website. If you are unable to do that, do not hesitate to phone or email your principals, your guidance counselors, or your teachers. I'd like to thank everybody that Mr. Steller already thanked, um, especially our teachers and support staff members who have been working hard to keep our students engaged. A few items just to note quickly, scheduling is continuing for next year. We are currently scheduling the 10th grade students who will be moving to 11th grade. Mrs. Darrop and Mrs. Nestigo have a tutorial placed on our webpage. In addition, they are emailing and contacting all families to work with your students to schedule courses for next year. Mrs. Sheehy is working hard to get our yearbook finished for the rest of this year. If you have any photos that you would like to include in the yearbook, please email Mrs. Sheehy at her MCA email address. I'd like to have a special thank you to our Tornado Trivia group, um, Mr. Mike Tanney, Mr. Aaron Demansky, Mrs. Kelly Demansky, and Coach John Dara, who put together and organized an awesome trivia game where you may or may not have seen many of our faculty members and staff. I'd like to thank them for that. Um, it was awesome to keep everybody engaged. And that's all I have for this evening, Mr. Muldowney. Thank you, Mr. Verano. Junior High School. Good evening, everyone. Just quick two announcements. Um, we, we would personally like to thank our entire learning community, Mount Carmel community, for the numerous local donations to our Tornado Buddy Bag program uh, since the school closure. Um, we have been giving out close to 80 bags. And again, we're going to continue that every Friday and expecting to do that through uh, even the summer. 
Um, we've even given Eastern, uh, Easter frozen turkey dinners uh, the last few weeks as well. So again, thanks again to our entire learning community for their generous donations. And anyone in our community who would like to learn more about the program, please check out the Mount Carmel Area Education Foundation a website for more information on the program and how to donate. Also quickly, we'd like to congratulate uh, some middle school students, Alexa Maher, Emily Morris, Brendan Fletcher, Lorelai Geis, and Dominic Tamborelli, under the direction of Mrs. Rumble for all their hard work on the What's So Cool for, About Manufacturing video contest. Um, I'm being a little bit partial, but I feel our team did the best video. Uh, we would like our community to vote, uh, and you can do that at whatsocool.org. Our students did an awesome video interviewing some employees at Brush Industries in Sunbury. Uh, so again, great job by all students and Mrs. Rumble. And again, we would like to uh, just send our well wishes to our entire learning community. Again, we, we are so anxious to see everyone. We miss all of our students and all of our staff. And again, we're praying to see everyone soon. Thank you, Mr. Shedder. Uh, elementary school. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, it's Mrs. Stepanowski. I just wanted to first, uh, you know, say thank you to all of our teachers who put our, together teacher videos, which if you're on Facebook, you'll see a bunch of teacher videos. And we also, also had a virtual spirit week that involved teachers and students. And if you keep following our Facebook page, we have more videos and some fun activities for the kids to participate in as well as teachers. Um, just a few um, updates for parents. We know that there's a lot of questions out there about spring pictures. Um, if you paid for them, we got the money to PSP and they will be shipped to you. You can also pay for your pictures online and order extras at pspphoto.com. And picture returns will be decided at a later date and communicated to you. Um, kindergarten registration will um, soon be activated online and there will be more information to come with that. Uh, Gertrude Hawk candy orders, the PTA fundraiser. We gave most of the candy out last week. We still have some boxes remaining. We will contact parents um, who still have candy that needs to be picked up. The elementary yearbook will still be completed and there's more information to come on that. We're looking at an electronic payment method and we are working on a kindergarten, a plan for kindergarten graduation as Mr. Steller mentioned before. And report cards will be posted Monday, April 20th on the student information system. Thank you very much. Mr. Baldani, can I just yes, add there um, uh, for, for a note for parents on report cards. Um, as Mrs. Stepanaski just said, report cards will be posted on Monday. And if any families would like to have a paper copy of their report card, they just need to contact the school district. Um, of course, you can print one directly from the parent portal if you so choose. But if you want a physical paper report card from Mount Carmel area, all you need to do is let us know and we'll be sure to get you one. Very good, thank you. Special education. Um, good evening. I'd also like to thank everyone um, for all the support. And um, just to say that we're truly missing um, our kids and the faculty and everyone has been doing a great job stepping up and, and changing how, how they're teaching and how they're communicating with their families and their students. Um, the special education department has been you know, doing virtual or um, individual education plan meetings um, through phone. So I'd like to say that I, I really appreciate the parents and the families and for them being um, flexible with having, you know, going through the social distancing and, and being able to have these meetings virtually or on the phone. Um, we, we truly appreciate it. And um, if anyone needs anything, please contact the school. We're still checking messages. Um, so we're, we're still there checking messages. You can email, you can email your teacher. Um, so, you know, um, I just hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Thank you very much, Mr. Edmondson. Maintenance, Mr. Fegley. Uh, yes, uh, good evening. This is Dave Fegley, the Building and Grounds Director. Um, as Mr. Feller said, uh, when we first got the word that the schools were gonna be closed for the first two weeks, our maintenance and custodial staff immediately started an extensive deep cleaning, disinfecting of the schools, which included all high touch areas, objects, and floors. Also being proactive, we, um, the school district has purchased a new type of disinfecting, sanitizing machine that will help us fight any future health-related issues in the future. 
Uh, also, since school has been canceled, I have reached out to the contractor that will be doing the asphalt work for our capital improvements project to see if we could schedule that work prior to the tentative June 15 starting date. Uh, I, I was informed that right now the state has not authorized the opening up of the asphalt plants. Uh, once I get word from, from them that they are open, um, I will be scheduling the work with them to be done as uh, soon as possible. Mr. Fegley, can I ask if you could just add for the members of the public uh, what exactly is going to be done this summer with the asphalt project? Uh, yes, the asphalt project, we're, we're winding down with our capital improvement pod project. So the asphalt project will be the remaining asphalt, which is to the, um, the side of the uh, school district uh, uh, main office there and also the um, up around the back of the school. And that'll, that'll conclude all of the asphalt uh, around both schools should be um, all new. Um, we're also um, going to be um, doing a little bit of work on the uh, sidewalks um, in front of the, the, um, the maintenance room there. So we have um, better access using our equipment in and out of the building. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Fagley. Athletic Director, Mr. Cavity. Greg, you're muted. Okay, sorry, excuse me. Uh, again, Greg Scavage, Director of Athletics. Uh, again, when Governor Wolf and Secretary Rivera closed schools a short time ago, Dr. Lombardi and the PIAA followed suit and canceled uh, our sports seasons. And that included uh, the closing of all sports facilities for use by our athletes in any way or form. And therefore, uh, all our facilities were closed. More than any other community in this state, Scholastic Athletics is a foundation for our community. And it, it is a painful thing for our entire community what we're, we're going through now. And uh, everyone feels that, but it's felt more by anybody more than our senior parents and our senior athletes who are losing their uh, uh, final spring season. And it's nothing they can uh, get back. And our heartfelt condolences go out to them. And uh, we, we hope they uh, can get through this. And the least we can do, uh, and we had an athletic committee this uh, week. And one of the things we're definitely doing right off the bat is all seniors will be awarded their senior letters, uh, as well as some other things we're doing down the line. But the first thing we're doing, uh, rest assured, all seniors will get their letters, even though uh, we are not having spring sports seasons. So they, they will be awarded. And uh, another thing uh, I wanted to bring up with that is tomorrow night, uh, along with School districts throughout Northeastern Pennsylvania, and I believe the state now, uh, are coming together and recognizing our senior athletes and all our seniors in our school districts, as well as the uh, many people that are essential workers out there uh, putting themselves forth every day uh, by doing a, a special little event. Uh, for 20 minutes and tomorrow we'll be doing that along with uh, Shemokin area and, and Our Lady of Lourdes and Lime Mountain and again all the local school districts including North Schuylkill to our other side of us uh, for 20 minutes we'll be down at the stadium it will not be open but we will be turning the lights on to the stadium we will be putting the scoreboard on we will be putting up the score on a scoreboard 2020 in honor of our senior class we will be putting the clock on 20 minutes and 20 seconds and letting down wind down in their honor. And also we'll be putting up fourth down and 19 on a down and distance symbolically indicating this is the fourth down for the uh, Corona uh, virus and in the year 2019. And hopefully there are better days to come mm -hmm. uh, at the same time. Uh, Aaron Demansky has volunteered. He will be announcing the names of our, each of our senior class during that time over the loudspeaker because hopefully that can be heard all over town. And uh, again, uh, we encourage people to drive by, but we encourage nobody to come and congregate because that is against social distancing. And if anybody does, I will ask you to uh, please uh, leave and 
you can drive by, but you cannot congregate. Uh, so we look forward to having that. And uh, we again look forward to uh, getting together again in the fall and getting our sports seasons back together again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sukavich. Um, normally, we, we would be asking, asking for a motion and then approve motions one to seven. However, since we're doing a webinar, I will be reading each individual motion, if that is okay with the, with the okay. Um, number, motion number one, to accept the resignation of Al Robbins as assistant varsity football coach as per the letter. Number two, approve Scott McCormick as a volunteer assistant varsity boys track coach. Um, number three, approve Tyler Hodge as a volunteer assistant varsity boys track coach. Number four, approve Jordan Marlowe as an assistant varsity football coach at step one with the salary of $1,900 per year. Number five, approve to amend the salary of Christopher Laposte, hired February 20th, 2020, as assistant varsity boys track coach at step one to a salary of $1,500. Number six, approve Charles Lang and Seth Chicatano as additional $550 each for coaching the seventh grade boys basketball due to an unfulfilled vacancy. This is for the 2019 to 2020 season only and represents half of the, the budgeted salary. Number seven would be approved competitive cheerleading as a PIAA sponsored sport beginning with the 2020 2021 school year. I need a motion to approve the seven motions presented. Motion. Who made the motion? Mr. Mr. Britt. Who made the second? I will, second. Jose. Thank you. Jose. Okay, got it. Okay, you want to roll call Mr. Muldowney? Yes, please. Okay. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Britt? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mrs. James votes yes. Mrs. Latour? Yes. Mr. Mazatesta? Yes. Mr. Muldowney? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Mr. Zanella? Yes. Motion passes 9-0. Moving on to financial items. A motion need to approve financial items one through four. The treasury report, the cafeteria report, the athletic fund, and the payment of bills. Motion. Second. Mr. Mr. Mazatesta. Who seconded that? I did. Mr. Zach? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Roll call vote. Mr. Britt? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mrs. James Belchess? Mrs. Latour? Yes. Mr. Mazatesta? Yes. Mr. Muldowney? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Mr. Zanella? Yes. And Mr. Brecker? Yes. Motion passes 9-0. May the report Mount Carmel Area Education Fund. Just a reminder to the public that the Mount Carmel Area Education Foundation is the fundraising branch of our school district. And there are many initiatives that support our students uh, through which you can donate on a tax deductible basis through the foundation. Just visit the school district's main website and there's a tab that's on the upper right corner listed contribute and you can navigate your way to the education foundation page. Um, fundraising items that we have going on support the buddy bags, the Calpas camp, um, uh, the stadium, the football stadium, our brick project and our, our uh, business advertising signs. Uh, and there is not an education foundation meeting tonight. Normally they're held at the conclusion of the main board meeting. Um, and hopefully we'll have be able to have one again in the month of May. That's all from the foundation, Mr. Muldowney. Thank you, Mr. Stiller. 
Moving on to new business, we have eight items to be addressed. The first one is to approve the MOU between the Mount Carmel Area School District and the CSIU for driver's education, behind the wheel instruction, and end of year skills test at no cost to the day. Number two, approve the resolution calling for charter school funding reform by the board of directors of the Mount Carmel Area School District. Number three, approve the first reading of the following board policies, tobacco and vaping, use of school facilities, school security personnel, school bus drivers and school commercial vehicle drivers, public attendance at school events, attendance of meetings via electronic communication, tobacco and vaping products, family and medical leave, federal fiscal compliance. Number four, approve the request of Copemont Borough to have parcel 2-00-003-211 and parcel 02-00-003-212 exempt from the Mount Carmel Area School District real estate property taxes for the year 2019 and moving forward as long as they own the property. Number five, approve the memorandum of understand truancy intervention prevention program agreement between the Montgomery County Juvenile Court and Children Youth Services and the Mount Carmel Area School District. Number six, approve the replacement of two indirect water heat tanks and one expansion tank to the high school domestic hot water system at a cost not to exceed twenty-eight thousand eight hundred thirty. $8. Number seven, approve the continuity of education plan student handbook for the junior senior high school and the elementary school as presented. And number eight, approve the resolution regarding the graduation for the school class of 20 as presented. The motion approve items one, eight. Motion. Motion by Mr. Britt. Second. Second by Ms. Little. This is another roll call vote. Okay. Yeah, Mrs. James, before you take the roll call vote, just wanted to let the members of the public know that Mount Carmel area, uh, the, the first item on the agenda uh, for new business, um, that the CSIU does provide driver education courses for students that live in our district and behind the wheel instruction here on the school district's property uh, at no cost to the school district um, and the, the parents could pay for that uh, and, and then benefit from the discount on their insurance if they would like to uh, to take take the CSIU up on that service. So just visit the CSIU's website or you can contact the school for more information on how to receive uh, the driver education contact information. Just uh, wanted to make sure that the, the, uh, the families knew about that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'll do the roll call now. Um, Mrs. Latour. Abstain. I, I have a question, Mr. Greco. I work for Next Century, not for the CSIU. Must I abstain? Um, no, because it's not. Okay. And yes. Thank you. Yes. Are, you changing, are you changing your vote to a yes then? Sorry, Mrs. James. Thank you. Mr. Mazatesta? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Muldowney? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Mr. Zanella? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Britt? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. And Mrs. James votes yes. Passes 9 0. Thank you very much. Moving on to personal item. I have five items to address. Number one, approved to hire not more than four PH. EAA students for the summer term. Number two, accept the resignation of Edward Sosk as part-time aide effective March 11th. Number three, accept the resignation of Charles Kowalski as maintenance staff effective February 29th. Number four, a motion to accept the application placed in month file and add the following names to the substitute list and completion. And number five, approve that the Mount Carmel 
Every school board will consider another candidate, Mr. Pete Chen, for the position of superintendent of schools beginning July 1st, 2020. This action is taken at the time. Sincerely, no monthly meeting of the Montgomery Area School District occurred in March 2020 school year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And that is another roll call. Do we have a motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. Brecker. Second. Second by Mr. Brecker. Mr. Brecker. Okay. This is James. Once again, before you roll, you do a roll call, thank you to Edward Osowski for his service. And special thanks to Charles Kovaleski for his many years of dedicated service to the Mount Carmel Area School District. Chucky, we're going to miss you. Thank you. Oh, that's what Okay, um, Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brett? Yes. Mr. Gonzalo? Yes. Mrs. James Votes, Mrs. Latour? Yes. Mr. Mazatesta? Yes. Mr. Muldowney? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Mr. Zanella? Yes. Motion passes 9 0. Moving on, we'd like to have public comments and questions. Not over the top. Oh, in front. Okay. 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 Mr. Lawrence, check. Okay. I'll have to look at that. The question was uh, repeat um, number five. Number five, five was the approval. The Mount Carmel Area School Board will consider another candidate, Mr. Pete Cheddar, for the position of superintendent of schools beginning July 1st, 2020. This action is taken to time since no monthly meeting occurred for the Mount Carmel Area School Board occurred during the March 2020 um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So this, this would, would have been addressed in, in March, March. However, since we did not, did not have a meeting, meeting, we wanted to make sure that, that this is a point of record that his name was approved at that time. But since we did not have a meeting, we want to make sure it gets on record. And then Mr. Ari said, okay, okay thank you. Anybody, Anybody else for uh, public comments and or questions? We do have a submitted question from Jessica Schatz. Uh, she asked, what's the plan for class of 2020 graduation? We have a tentative plan in place for all of the senior uh, end of year activities as was stated prior in the meeting. However, we cannot give a specific date due to the um, ruling from the governor of Pennsylvania. At the time when we have clearance for more social interaction, we will make sure the public is kept aware um, through different social media, Facebook, news, news item, um, Mount Carmel item, whatever the uh, publication, publication would be. So the families of the seniors and the rest of the school district are made aware of the comments. Uh, this will come further through this district and Mr. Steller as to the dates are available from the governor. Yes, to, so to add to that, as I stated at the beginning of the meeting, uh, the school board and the administration is committed to a live end of year activities for the senior whenever that's going to be safe to happen. So at this time, there is no plans for any type of a virtual graduation or anything like that. We want to honor our seniors as best we can and as properly as we can. And we feel the best way to do that is live and in person whenever that is going to be physically possible to do. Anybody else? I have none. Okay. On a closing note, I would like to update the public that we will not be opening up the stadium uh, uh, for any future uh, walkies and or any other activities other than the schedule activity tomorrow, personally by Mr. Savage and Mr. Demansky. Um, at the time when we are available to open up the district uh, to the school sure. walking track, that will also be made available for different social media. 
Yes, Mr. Baldani, there's there's another question in here. Um, yes, so uh, Lime Mountain has a, a little bit of a different take on what they're going to do with their seniors. Again, as, as I stated to answer the question uh, that was posed as well, um, just to reiterate, we are planning on a live uh, graduation end of year activities for our seniors, uh, yeah. not anything virtual or or anything like that. That, that is the plan. Uh, the, the administration with the support of the school board is committed to making that happen. That is correct. Anything else, anybody, Mr. Any other questions or comments from the public? Anybody from the board have any closing comments or questions? None being said, make a motion to adjourn. Motion. Motion, motion by Mr. Zach. Zach. Second. Second by Mrs. Latour. All in favor? Aye. 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 Time everyone. Thank you very much to uh, the administrative team and especially to our school board for all your support and to the members of the Mount Carmel community for coming out tonight and for uh, supporting your, your students and the school district. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Tresker, for the... Yes. Yes, and thank yes, you to thank Mr. You. Tresker <laughs> for setting up our, our meeting tonight. Thank you very Great much. Good job. Good night. Thanks, thank everyone. Good night, all. Good night. Bernie, can you Stay move safe, the everyone?